This video will demonstrate how to use the FootPal Scanner stitching software. Once you've inserted the memory card, you will open the toolbox. And in the toolbox, there are a couple of different things that you can choose from. But for our purposes, we're going to choose the stitch scans. Once the screen pops up, you'll choose File, Open, and you'll select the scans that you want to stitch together. Now, I have about 12 scans from one thing that I'm going to piece together. And I'm highlighting the first one in this series, and I'm using the Shift key and hitting the last one, and it has chosen all of them for me. I click Open, and the software goes to work. Now it'll go through a series of loading all of the images and then it'll go through a five-step process to stitch all of the images together into one. Now while that's working, I will show you uh, some of the individual images that, or the individual scans rather, that I took. Um, this is actually a large cross-stitch piece that my mother had done and it is in a frame. And so I went through and took 12 individual scans of each of the 4 by 6 areas that I needed to piece the entire piece together. So as you can see, I just went uh, you know, place, piece by piece, scanning. And you'll notice that the orientation on this third image has actually changed. And that's because the frame that the piece is in was raised and in order for me to capture it I had to turn the scanner around. Now the beauty of this stitching software is that it actually knows how to put these pieces together even though the orientation of them is different. So these are all the individual pieces and once the stitching software has completed its process it will open up the completed image. And I think you'll be quite impressed to see how all of these individual pieces are put together into one flawless picture. And it looks like we're almost there. It should be opening momentarily. And then once I show you the image, you'll notice that it the edges are, or the border around it is a little off given the fact that um, the piece had a mat around it. So you, as you can kind of see here, the mat is showing in some of the scans and not in other pieces. But that's certainly alright. I'm actually going to crop it anyways. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to open the image and bring it in. Now it has saved the image on the memory card and I apologize that this is a little on the slow side. It's probably from the, the recording. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. I mean, it's fantastic. I, I honestly am extremely impressed with this stitching software. I'm actually going to rotate it so that it's orientated correctly, and then I'm going to crop it. And voila! I have a beautiful image of my mom's cross-stitch piece that she did for me in 2003 when I got married. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and it shows you uh, just what you can do with this wonderful software capability. There are limitless possibilities. Um, I know when I do a lot of deed work, I can't get all of that uh, together on one you know, copy or even in a photograph because I take a lot of photos of it and I think this will be a much better solution to scan those deeds and then paste them back together. So I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something new and if you have any uh, desire to go and look 
further look for more information on the Flip Pal, you can visit flip-pal.com.